Hey guys, it's Harry. Today, we're going to visit a McDonald's in Liverpool Street Station in London. Now, as many of you will know, many McDonald's stores have kiosks where you can order your own food via a massive touch screen. One option here is that you can customize your orders by taking things away or adding to burgers. What we're going to do today is we're going to try and test the limits of customization at McDonald's by taking things off a Big Mac until, hopefully, we're left with nothing. Let's go and see if they let us do it. This is the classic Big Mac. Two beef patties, sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, and onions served in a three-part sesame seed bun. So in many ways, I'm not sure how you can improve on a Big Mac. That's why it stood the test of time. So what we're gonna do is take away layers from here and see how far we can go before it's just nothing in a box. Next, we're gonna take out the lettuce. Taking items out of the burger doesn't seem to affect the price at all. It's still fixed at £3.19, or just over $4. So here we have a Big Mac with no lettuce. It's the first step of our customization. And they got the order right, no lettuce in sight. It looks more just like a big cheeseburger now, less like a Big Mac. So what happens if you take out the lettuce, Big Mac sauce, and onions? Will they still let you order it as a Big Mac? So what we have here is a Big Mac with no Big Mac sauce, no lettuce, and no onions. Pretty quickly, it's just starting to look like a standard cheeseburger because all you're left with really is the burger, the bread, the cheese, and still the pickles as well. But what if you don't fancy a proper Big Mac and you fancy a Big Mac salad? We're going to remove the bun to leave the lettuce, cheese, meat, and pickle. So now we're really starting to push the boundaries of the customization at McDonald's. And what we've got here is a Big Mac with lettuce, burgers, pickles, cheese, no sauce, and no bun. So let's give this a try. <laughs> At this point, I'm not sure you can call this a burger anymore. It's more of a kind of weird salad burger bowl thing, like a beef salad, which is, tastes about as bad as it sounds. What we're going to do now is remove everything except the cheese. Will they seriously serve us a slice of cheese? This one, your order? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, a slice of cheese. Just the cheese? Yeah. Nothing else? Nothing else. So what I have here is a Big Mac. Kind of. This is what happens when you customize a Big Mac to remove everything except the cheese. Uh, at £3.19, I think this is probably the most expensive pound-for-pound -pound cheese I've ever bought. But, uh, you know, I'm sure it'll be great. So it turns out, if you ask them, McDonald's will serve you a Big Mac containing only a single slice of cheese. What we're going to do now is try the final step, which is we're going to get a Big Mac and remove everything from it. And hopefully, we'll get an empty box from McDonald's. So, I've just been into McDonald's, I paid £3.19 for a Big Mac with nothing, and I got nothing. So they nailed my order, the guy seemed a little bit confused, I'm a little bit upset that I didn't get a box that was empty, but at the end of the day, they got my order exactly right, so I can't be mad. So we're finished at McDonald's, we've pushed the order's customization to its absolute limit, and honestly the staff were really accommodating. Every order that I chose, they fulfilled. They actually even recommended that if you want to do the £3.19 slice of cheese, you can just order a single cheeseburger and take everything out of Thank that. Thank you very much. Yeah. Next time, you have to save your money, sure. you should order a cheeseburger. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. It's more expensive. Thank you. Thank you. Would I do it again? Probably not, because it is literally a waste of money. Interestingly enough, I don't think it would have been possible before the technology came in because most people would just stop you and say, wait a minute, you're ordering nothing, don't bother. But thanks to technology, you can now waste £3.19.